Greetings Diecast Racing fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Vulcan Raceway for episode 4 of the Mini Mayhem competition. I'm here with the track owner and the Flying Fenman. We had some interesting racing last time and you can see here the vehicle that will be <coughs> sent out to the winning driver wherever they are in the world. Hopefully the announcement last week will have also brought some joy to the other Diecast uh, racing tracks around the world a gift from myself and from Kelden Raven at Raven Customs quickly to review what happened last week we have got five cars currently tied in first place we've got car B the crazy Canuck car C the Comish car D Moose car I James Sterling and car J Matthew Harding they're all three and one in sixth place middle of the table is cuboid um, in the real rider <clears throat> he is two and two. Then in joint seventh, we've got Candy Rain, Hakari Rin and the Zombie from Elst Racing. And in last place, without a win to his thing yet, is Mason Storm of the Essex Hurricanes. Hopefully he can do better this week. Let's have a look at what the draw is going to throw us. Mini Mayhem episode four draw. Starting off with... Car J, which is um, the Matchbox 1964-1275S Austin Mini Cooper of Matthew Harding from WDC Racing in New Zealand versus Car D, which is the Hot Wheels Multipack Morris Mini in green and black of Moose of GITB Racing in the USA. Car C versus Car G. Car A versus Car B, Car H versus Car E, and then finally in the first half, Car F versus Car I. It's the first half of the draw, on to the second half. Car H versus Car B, Car I versus Car F, Car J versus Car G, Car A versus Car E and finishing off the episode 4 racing, the last race will be Car C which is the Comish in the blue Morris Mini versus D, which is Moose of GITB Racing. So Moose is starting and finishing again. Hopefully you've got all of that in screen and uh, we'll see you on the next one. With the draw over and done with, we can have a look at the track overview and see where we're standing. So, Things have changed around a little bit over here. We've actually got some of the uh, construction has been completed on the filling station. And hopefully more will by the end of this series. We've actually got more people on site now because we're bussing them in. Um, so we've got the track vendors back. Police are all standing ready and there's more officers on duty. Our security team there protecting our last winning vehicle. Got a photographer on site taking pictures and we've been flying some people in uh, you can see the Vulcan sitting there and we can see a track aircraft there everything else is pretty much the same security teams are ready our thanks go to our sponsors John at Modelmatic Kelden Raven at Raven Customs team at the BERCC, Cuboid at 4 Cubed Racing and my brother Phil at Tomley RC. The cars are all lined up ready to go to the top of the track so we can get down to some racing action. So up at the top of the track we've got car J and car D. Car J is Matthew Harding. It's the blue uh, matchbox mini with the white stripes on the bonnet, a weight of 32 grams. Car D is Moose. 
in the green car with the black and white um, checkered roof with a weight of 34 grams. We'll see how they do. Clear win there for Moose with a time of 1.9 seconds. Next up at the top of the track, we've got car C and car G. Car C is the Comish in blue 10, my uh, top pick for the top, for the tournament, um, which is the Hot Wheels race team, th weight of 34 grams. And he's up against the reigning champion, Hikari Rin, in the red with the white roof, uh, Austin minivan with a weight of 39 grams. We'll see whether the extra weight can actually help here or whether that... Uh, car of the Comish will notch, notch up another win. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Wow, that was interesting. I'm going to have to show you what's happened here at the finish line. So, drama. So what's happened is that the Comish has left the track and that's allowed Hikari Rin to go through. I hope the Comish is okay. Yep, the Comish is okay. Um, I don't know what the footage is going to like. I'm going to have to have a look at it and review that. But um, it seems that uh, there may be uh, some interesting um, driving one went on there by Hikari Rin. Um, I'm going to review the finish line footage now and then get back to you. So dealing with the drama there, um, quickly before we move on to race three, which is car A versus car B, it appears that the Comish was in front and whiffed it. Now, I don't know whether that will be what shows up when um, we look at it on the slow-mo. I will annotate that after this uh, clip, um, or it, you possibly have seen slides of that in between times um, when I get chance to review the slow-mo. Uh, when we have these up on the big screen. Um, but it looks at the things at the moment that he was in the front and he whiffed it. Um, I don't think the Comish is going to be happy with it. But hey, you know, that's racing. Right, so next up we have car A versus car B. Car A on the left hand side is cuboid in the orange with the white roof. Which is on real riders and a weight of 30, uh, 43 grams. He's up against Crazy Canuck from the A-Team in the yellow and green colour shifter of 26 grams. So we've got the heaviest versus the lightest. S these guys have raced before. We'll see how this goes down. Nice clear win there for um, car B, the Crazy Canuck, in a time of 2.0. Moving on to race four, car H versus car E. Car H is the zombie from Else Racing in the cream uh, car with the black roof up against car E, which is Candy Rain from the Essex Hurricanes in the uh, pearl light blue snowstormers. Candy weighs 34 grams, or the Candy's vehicle weighs 34 grams. The zombie's vehicle weighs 38 grams. Let's see how this shakes down. Close all the way down and the zombie pulls up just before the line. We get a time of 2.1 and a win for Candy Rain from the Essex Hurricanes. Moving on to race five. <clears throat> We've got car F versus car I, and this race is going to be mirrored in race seven because it's the same two cars, but on the opposing lanes. Interesting how the draw shakes down sometimes. So car F is Mason Storm in the yellow with the black roof minivan. He's on the left hand side, uh, the top. So that'll be the right hand side of the screen as he's coming towards you. And he's up against <clears throat> uh, car I, which is James Sterling, which is the light blue mini with a checkered roof. Um, James Sterling's car weighs 30 grams 
and uh, Mason Storms weighs 35 grams. So we'll see how this one goes. A nice clear win there for Car I, which is James Sterling, with a time of 2.0. Starting off the second half, we've got car H versus car B. Car H being the zombie in the cream with the black roof, weight 38 grams. Car B being the lightest one, which is Crazy Canuck of the A-Team from Canada, um, with a weight of 26 grams. And that just goes to show it's not all about weight. Nice clear win there uh, for the Crazy Canuck with a time of 2.0. Now we've got the reverse of um, the earlier race uh, from race five. Uh, we've got car I versus car F, car I being James Sterling in the light blue with the checkered roof. He's coming towards you on the right hand side and car F being Mason Storm. Now Mason has yet to win a race yet. Will this be the one? Let's see. And the answer is no. That's a nice clear win there for um, car I, which is James Serling, in a time of 1.9 seconds. This time we've got two very similar vehicles to the last race, but it may have a different outcome. <coughs> Excuse me, we've got car J, which is Matthew Harding in the blue with the white stripes, weight 32 gram. And we've got him up against Car G, Hakari Rin, the reigning champion in the red with the white roof van with a weight of 39 grams. Hakari has got two wins under his belt with the controversial one earlier from today, which may be reversed out, but we'll see how that goes when we look at it at slow-mo. But obviously two vehicles exactly the same, comes down to driver. Let's see how this goes. Wow, and a win there for Hikari Rin in a time of 1.9. Nicely done, Hikari. You're starting to get that vehicle too. So, race nine, we've got car A versus car E. Car A being cuboids in the orange with the white roof, real rider, weight 43 grams. Car E is Candy Rain from the Essex Hurricanes in the pearl light blue snowstormers of weight of 34 grams. Oh, oh, and we're going to have a reset there. Candy's landed on her wheels and Cuboid's failed to get across the line because he's pulled up. See if they can get across the line this time. And they both got across the line. That was a win for Candy Rain there with a time of 2.2. So win for Candy Rain with a time of 2.2. So last race of the day, the American rivals are at it again. This is a car C versus car D, car C being the Comish in blue 10, my favorite for the tournament, versus a car um, D, which is Moose in the green with the black and white uh, checked roof. They're both weight of 34 grams, so it comes totally down to the drivers. They're both Americans and they both give it their all. Let's see how this goes and let's hope that uh, the earlier crash hasn't affected the Comish too much. And that's a clear win there for the Comish. Uh, spin from the Moose part from Moose part way down. A win for the Comish in a time of 2.0. Right, folks, that's it for today. Um, again, some interesting racing, some controversy. Um, I still don't know what the situation is. I won't be able to see that for a few hours yet until we get all the footage uploaded and we can go through frame to frame to find out what happened uh, with the Comish and Hikari Rin. Um, but standings as it stands now, in joint first place, we've got Crazy Canuck and James Sterling, both on five and one. Crazy Canuck's best time today was a 2.0. James Sterling's was a 1.9. And they're both two and naught. So two wins, naught losses. Um, in joint third place is the Comish and Moose, 
both 1-1 one and one today. Uh, the Comish's win was a 2.0. Moose's was 1.9 to take them overall to 4.4 and 2. In joint fifth place, we've got three people. We have got Candy Rain, Hakari Rin and Matthew Harding. Matthew Harding didn't get any wins today, so he was 0 and 2. The other two were both 2 and 0. Uh, with Candy Rain's fastest time being 2.1 and Hikari Rin's being 1.9, taking them, all three of them, to 3 and 3. In eighth place is Cuboid. In car A, the real rider, he was 0 and 2 today, so two losses, um, giving him 2 and 4 overall. In ninth place is the Zombie. Uh, he again was 0 and 2 today giving him 1 and 5 overall. And in last place, the Wooden Spoon goes to Mason Storm. Um, Norton 2 again to give him Norton 6 overall. That's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to do the usual things like comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.